channel, Facebook page, etc., etc. We're coming live from Boynton Beach tonight to bring you an exciting event. We're going to do a single tooth dental implant on my buddy Zeke here. Anna's is helping us and joining us for the ride. And of course, our lovely film crew. Uh, tonight, we're going to be doing a single tooth implant on a guy who's been our patient for a good number of years. And what's pretty cool about this, he's doing things slowly. He's doing things, the, doing things the right way, but he's doing things slowly. He's walking through a simple dental implant procedure and show you how easy things really can be. When you, uh, and even if you don't see the right people, you know where to go. Uh, regardless technique. So let's show you a little bit of open just a touch. Zeke. Thank you, sir. Awesome. So I'm going to briefly talk about what I'm doing. He's lower right side, and ultimately he will. This evening I would like to do one implant. Uh, it's rather uh, just a particular problem because the type of, if you're not experienced, you can get tricked by the type of tissue he has here. So the type of reserve, the amount of tissue, it's a painless technique. And at the end result, you'll have a, a, an implant that really works forever. Zeke, you good? I'm good. Awesome. So I just want to be sure he's nice and numb. And he's there. Yeah, he's nice and numb. Anna, it's all yours. It's your weapon. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Step one is he's numb. Step two is, like I told you before, we're going to preserve this band of gum tissue. And the reason we do that is because you need this band of gum tissue to preserve that implant health and it protects against a lot of the bacteria and all the jaw muscles moving in different directions. So what I'm doing here is I'm confirming everything that we saw on our x-rays, our CT, and I'm going to be all the gum tissue looking exactly at his bone. A while ago, so but he happens to be quite lucky that he has this good amount of bone. But again, another trick is you have to feel, because this is very deceptive on the x-ray, because he has what we would call on the inside of his jawbone, and that's part of anatomy. So if you could see closely, I'm not sure if here, but we've exposed all the gum tissue. He's hardly bleeding at all. You comfortable? You good? Yeah. Zeke? Yeah. Okay. I look down and all he's doing is praying. <laughs> <laughs> and we're pretty much ready for step two. Worst part about the procedure is Zeke actually has to listen to my jokes. This. Okay. And listen to me talk. Thank you, Anna. Awesome. And same kind of deal. We're going to look at the gum tissue. Let's use this, Anna. There we go. It'll be easier for the audience to see. Turn a little towards me. Pretend you love me. Beautiful. A little bit of sound, only because we've got to do a little drilling here. And some water. Awesome. Thank you. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Anna. I'd like to do... Anna, if you could do me a favor and change that hand piece real quick. So I'm, I want to real quick. Let's come on over. Now to what we're going to be do doing here. That's him, and this is a digital scan that we took. In this particular, it's called a panoramic, so it shows you his whole mouth. He's got a couple other bad teeth. He has already a single tooth implant on the top. But in this particular instance, we're going to be working on the bottom because he does have a few really bad teeth on top that we're going to be removing and placing something removable as opposed to something permanent. 
So on the bottom here, we're going to start off doing single tooth implants to get him a full complement of teeth, which is the best. And on top, it's going to be, a, in this particular instance, a less expensive way to do things, which is going to be something removable. And we work towards really what the patient needs, what the patients can afford, uh, and, and what really what's best for the patient, right? Okay, watch yourself. Don't trip. Sure. Thanks. Awesome. So, sorry I digressed for a second there, but I really wanted to just go over that real quickly. Awesome. So, back to round two. Thanks, Anna. Open just a touch. Great. And again, a lot of water, okay, Zeke? Mm -hmm. You're doing great. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. And as you'll notice, there's a lot of teamwork here. And then Anna and I have done this at least once before together. <laughs> right, Anna? But you can tell. So we've done this more than once. So again, with that concavity, we have to really be careful because you don't want to. Step, which is making the hole a little lighter, and then going ahead and putting the implant in. Awesome. So why again does she do this extra? It's called the guide pin, so it shows us exactly where the implant's going to be, because you want to be, uh, it shows you exactly where my implant will be placed. So it just shows me where I am in the bone scan. Awesome, and you can see Anna's going ahead, getting out of the room. Awesome. Cool. And the implant is spot on. So what I mean by spot on is where exactly the root of that is, and we're avoiding it completely, so we have parallel implant to the root. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and widen the hole. Once I widen that hole, we're going to put our implant in place. So it's exactly the same technique. Thanks, Anna. Awesome. Anna's got tremendous, that's why she was hired. Open as big as you can. Thank you. And again, we're going to use the same angulation, same everything. Okay. Awesome. And, and last one. Zeke, you okay, buddy? Uh-huh. Am I hurting at all? Uh-uh. Good. Awesome. And that's pretty much where we are in terms of implant places. I'm going to change the modification on my drill and then I'm going to go ahead, put my special piece on, and we're going to choose the, the correct implant placement. Implant. In this particular instance, I'm an implant, which in my eyes is one of the top implants plants money can buy. It has the best surface. And of course there's a connection that goes on for the crown. And we're gonna go ahead and click. When it comes out of the box. Zeke, you good? Uh -huh. And that's what we do. Cool. So it just drills right in the hole. Drills right in the hole. Literally just I'm gonna put this here like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and use this ratchet 
that loose it's at Home Depot for the final torquing and placement. And he's bone, which is great. But he does have that concavity. Okay. His bone is fantastic. And that's that's the dental implant. That's Michael Parowitz from Facebook writes, now that his fantasy football season is over, you have time to give him an implant? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're not kidding. I don't like to brag, but I, was, uh, I did win my fantasy football league. Excellent. Let's grab my... Perfect. Zeke, you okay? Yeah. Hurt at all? What do you feel? No, good. You no, no, no. I didn't feel anything. And it's going to be going ahead and placing more and more fixtures on Zeke. In his mouth, he's got a lot. His, his teeth are starting to collapse, and just things are happening which are not necessarily great. Let's hear. We're going to put a very, very successful implant. And we're pretty much, oh, awesome. I'm going to put a couple of stitches that dissolve by themselves. But as far as concerned, we are done. So, so. That's a pretty quick process. Yeah. Uh, start to finish in about another 10 minutes, right? Just bad jokes and pretty much showing people what we can do here. Doing great. We're good, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And you can see it's a very clean procedure. There's no bleeding at all. Okay, no discomfort, no jumping, except from Anna. Hmm. He's even laughing. But I think that's just gas pain because we gave him pizza before. <laughs> You're doing awesome. And really, we're like 98% done. Carlos is asking why uh, it's important to get an implant to place a missing tooth. Well, that's a great question, Carlos. Uh, Carlos, we've got to chew and we've got to function. So without these teeth, you can't smile, you can't chew properly, and implants allow us to do that. Okay, not only can we replace missing teeth, but it can hold dentures. There's a variety of things that an implant can do for us. And we didn't have that ability to give the ability years ago. Today, the technology is there. This makes, we're a very predictable, easy technique that we could afford the public a great solution for oral care. And that's it. A little pressure and you are good to go. No biting because that's my finger. I still need it for tomorrow's patient. And done. Get that up. You okay? Okay. Done. Done. Breathe. Breathe. We're done. done. Breathe. Any pain? Pain at all. Awesome. And now we do another x-ray for... This is the check x-ray. It just shows me exactly how great everything looks. Where I could, you know, tell them that everything was done perfectly. We get to go home and call it a night. Awesome. Thanks again for following us on YouTube and Cedar to Dental. Any problems, questions, concerns, address your oral needs. Uh, tune into it next time. FloridaTeeth.com is our website. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you and meeting you, of course. Good night.